For seeing the tomato under the microscope, I'm cutting a nice tomato into a couple of pieces. After cutting a very small piece of the tomato, I'm going to remove the skin of the tomato to make the first slide. I am going to make the second slide from the pulp of the tomato and observe both of these slides under the microscope. These are the tomato skin cells and these skin cells they are like a sheet of cells. These cells are tightly attached to each other and the cell walls are fairly thick. Inside some of the cells, we can see the nuclei because these cells are like boxes lying under the microscope and the microscope is focused at one plane. And if the microscope is focused at one plane, some of the nuclei are in focus, other nuclei are not in focus. That's what we are looking at. Uh, another thing is that when you look inside those cells in the cytoplasm, we can see the red pigment. Those are the chloroplasts. They change color when the tomatoes, they ripen and uh, the color changes from green to red because the pigment that's there inside those chloroplasts now is the lycopene. It's a keratinoid pigment and this keratinoid pigment is red in color and that's what we see the splashes of red colors inside each cell. But another thing that's really strange in these cells are the cell walls they appear to be kind of greenish in color. I was also amazed that why green? because the cell walls are made up of cellulose, most of them, and inside there, there are some proteins, pectins, and some of those other proteins to strengthen the cell walls. But there are, no, there are no chloroplasts. There is no green pigment in the cell walls. But these cell walls, they appear to be green. And uh, if we magnify these cells a lot, I saw something that attached to the cell wall, we can see inside there are some chloroplasts, green chloroplasts. So all the chloroplasts, they do not change the color. Some of them are attached to the walls and they give the green coloration to the cell walls. These cells are the tomato pulp cells. When you look at the pulp cells, they are very globular, like balloons. And uh, these cells, their cell walls are very thin and inside you can see the lycopene, the chromoplasts uh, filled with the lycopene are there all over the place. And uh, these cells are mostly filled with water. There's a lot more water inside. And uh, you can see the nuclei in many of them when we move around and when we focus this. The nuclei is very common. So the pulp cells.